Now back to the action with Jason. Welcome back to Festival Fishbowl. Um, this is Nicholas Tweedy. You are now, are you a mentalist or a magician or what? A little of both. Uh, primarily I'm a mentalist, but I do uh, I dabble a little bit of magic. Uh, uh, the show is uh, uh, a lot of very strange things I picked up in my travels. Uh, I'll be unveiling uh, three brand new illusions to the world this year. Fantastic. Um, uh, two of them um, revolve around African voodoo. Um, awesome. So something Sweet. I studied when I was in Ethiopia. Yeah, nice. So uh, uh, I've been a been a big fan of the, the dark darker side of magic over the years and the uh, colorful characters like Alistair Crowley. And, and, uh, I nodded my head just then. I have no idea who that is. The Elizabeth the same. Well, what is a mentalist? What, what, if you can give us a quick well, let me, description. Let me, let me choose some, let me pick an illusion that everyone's familiar with. And I'll, give you, I'll give you, uh, I'll give you uh, um, the way a magician would perform it and the way a mentalist would perform it, because we're both illusions. Okay. What you're, what you're seeing is a real. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, but with, uh, when a magician takes a woman and he puts her in the box, right? Everyone's either seen it or heard about mm. this. Uh, even cartoons have it, right? Joseph Fritz did it. Right, right. right. <laughs> Uh, they put the woman in the box, she's cut in half, and then she's put back together after they separate the box. There's a thousand different nuances of how you can perform it. But in the end, everyone in the audience, or at least 99% of the audience, realize there's not any real danger to the woman. You don't go to a magic show certainly to watch torture and murder. You go there for the entertainment. There's always an element of that. There's always like a, oh, I hope she gets her head cut off. Well, you know, some, some people hope for the bad, you know. Uh, I mean, some. You know, Look at that. some people just like the pretty, you know, uh, 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 that, that's just my business card, by the yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Arsonist. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Um, uh, yeah, I suppose you're not there for the torture. Well, since the people come to stand-up comedy and they went through torture, mm. so it can happen. Because right. is your phone ringing? <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to answer. No, is anyone actually watching at the moment? Who has the numbers? Five people. Well, hello. Oh, really? Hello. Awesome. <laughs> right now, when you when you first of all tell me about your show as well. So we're about to. It's at. Uh, I knew this. It's at the Cabin Club, directly directly across the street from the casino. Mm-hmm. Um, it's uh, uh, it's a fabulous club. They have actually had more than half a million dollars worth of Beatles memorabilia, mm-hmm. like the actual Sgt. Pepper's the Beatles wore on the stage. And yeah, right. It's all set up uh, like almost like a museum like. Uh, venue. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, fantastic. Are you worried though, because you are an illusionist, do you think there's going to be some people who have maybe flitted away thousands of dollars and they'll be coming up to you going, just make it reappear? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, that's why I left Vegas. I used to perform regularly at the Mandalay Bay and uh, the Paris casinos in Vegas. And, uh, you know, one of the things that you don't really hear about the, the performers, you know, especially the, the no names like myself, you know, uh, when they give you the big stage. They, there's a lot of extra duties they, they assign you, and one of those is going into the VIP rooms where people are losing, you know, heaps of money, oh, and make, uh, them happy. make them happy, you know, make them, you know. I remember That's a tough gig, just <laughs> yeah, isn't it just? I, I remember one time I, I go I go into I, I won't say what casino it was, but I, I went into the VIP room and came the guest, uh, and uh, there was a guy sitting down in the chair, and I walk up and introduce myself. Hey, my name is Nick. I'm the official entertainment here at the casino. Um, would you like to see something amazing, you know? I was going to make something levitate or something like that. And, uh, the guy just looks at me and, uh, uh, what, how PC do we have to be? To make oh, it's the internet. Get into it. All right. Well, you mean, the guy looks at me and says, fuck off. Yeah. Right? I just introduced myself. But, yeah. And then he got up and left. And, of course, like the cocktail waitresses, I all knew, you know, because I'm in there all the time. Mm. And I pulled, I pulled her aside. I'm like, what's, what's this guy's problem? Right? The guy's 25 years old, right? Just lost $11 million. Oh. Who at 25 has a million dollars? Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> uh, Mark Zuckerberg. I don't know who it was. Make Facebook tell you to fuck off. Exactly. Mark Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg doesn't like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nicholas, how did you get into it? I'm always... mm. I did a 12 year apprenticeship in Japan. 12? 12. In Japan? In Japan. In, in Okinawa. Oh, did, you, did you drift along like a river in a wicker basket and they found you at this magician's zen like then and they pulled you in and trained you your whole life? Is that uh, it? No, it was a little bit more boring than that. My father was in the military and my mother taught my, my teacher's daughter's English, you know, so right. our families became friends and so on and so forth. Here, you want you guys want to see something really bizarre? Yeah, I do. I really yeah. do. All right. I cannot tell you how yeah. much. Where are you going? First uh, Let's. All right. Well, let's I'm going to move this one around. Let's, yeah. Let's Have you got a public liability insurance, Chongy? Not really. Okay. Yeah. This would be good. PJ's uh, 
But you know what? I was going to use something in mind, but instead of that, do you have a, a card on you, like a business card, driver's license? Uh, here, here's one that uh, Nicholas Twitty gave me. That's yeah. my card, so it looks suspicious. Well, we're comedians, uh, but less people know. Uh, I actually yeah. don't have my wallet on me at this point. I know. We uh, just right, see. We'll 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 okay, we'll use yours. No, 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 I don't want to hold it. Okay, uh, hold right. it. Okay, I'm holding it. You're going to feel some energy. This is not going to hurt you. Is it? Okay. Oh, well, there we go. We can see it. Yes! Ooh! That is awesome! That is a. That's, that is a little weird. Basic level. Oh, 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 I saw you were a Jedi. Oh, well, now I get yeah, it. Yeah, that's what he knows. It totally makes sense. Yeah. Right? Now, see, uh, uh, when a mentalist performs an illusion, instead of the illusion being on the eyes, it, it all takes place in the head. You know, so if I were to cut a woman in half, let's say, uh, I did something similar. I used to open, you guys know a band named Pantera? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Pantera, I was on tour with those guys when they were Damage Plan after they split. Mm -hmm. uh, Drowning Pool and Static X, I was their opening act for a little while. And back then I was ripping people on half a chainsaws. But when, awesome. when, you, when you saw the chainsaw go through their body, you knew they were dead. We didn't ever let them off the hook. You know, uh, you know it's... Uh, you can see straight through the bodies, you can see the gore, the intestines, everything. It's very gruesome. I feel like this is now an admission yeah. to some pretty heavy crimes. <laughs> I feel like maybe you're just running from the law. Maybe, uh, maybe. From yeah. fringe to fringe. There's no better way to go on notes than just running from festival to festival. Wow. Yeah. So is that what people could expect? Uh, no, no, no. In my, in my show, you're going to see uh, a lot of levitations, uh, a lot of like mind reading things. You know, like I see a magician would have you pick a card like this, right? And do all the fancy finger flicking and call it press of digitation. Love it. I'm a big fan. Um, there's a lot of great shows out there like that for Fringe. Uh, I suck at performing it, so you're not going to see that in my show. Mm. But instead of doing it that way, uh, just think of a card inside your head. Any card you'd like. But do me a favor. Everybody picks like the Ace of Spades, right? Damn it. So don't don't, don't pick that card, and, and don't pick no aces or jokers. Make it okay. make it more yeah. make it less obvious. All right, I got it. Yeah, the exact suit and everything, right? Yes. Would you shake my hand? I would shake your hand. All right. Okay, okay. All right. You don't know where it's been, Nicholas. It's, uh, it's okay. I used to have a job spinning luggage at airports before this. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, this is interesting. All right. What I've done here is I've simply taken one of my cards and I flipped it upside down. When I did this, was there any way I could have known what you're thinking? Hell no. Would you be just a little amazed if the one upside down card was the same one in your head then? Absolutely. Because there's no way I can know. We even eliminated the <laughs> obvious ones, right? Yeah. Tell us, please, what card did you choose? It was the four of diamonds. If you see a card in really? this deck turned over, yeah. would you grab it yourself? Mom was Connect Four, the Uno card. <laughs> Skip. One, one card, only one card, dead center, middle of my deck. What card yes. is that? All right. That's freaking ridiculous! That's that is awesome! That is yeah. just nice. That is like, awesome. Nicholas, you must get laid a lot. That is awesome. <laughs> Ugh, this card is tainted. That's, yeah. That is I black magic doo doo. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. That makes now, my, it makes you test. Would you, would you like me to tell you exactly how I did that? No! Yeah. Yeah. I want to know. Yeah, well, it's mentalism, so I don't have to keep it a secret okay. like magic. All right. Uh, let me ask you one question before I give away the goose. Did it appear that you had a free choice on the surface of what card you Yes. Used? To did you, I not? To you, did it appear that he had a free choice? Well, I thought it did now. No, I, yeah. What if I told you the truth is, is he only had one choice, that I couldn't screw it up? What if I said I went inside his mind and suggested that with my thoughts alone? That's why you were seeing a four, too. But you don't play cards as much. Did you say, so you, did you, you say four? He, he was confused. He saw connect four, you know. It was uh, an Uno card. Um, <laughs> let, 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 let me do this again. This this time, what I'm going to do... That was mental four, is, I've taken a card and I've turned it over in advance. I'm going to count to three, and I'm going to make it a little bit more obvious this time. I'm going to go straight inside your head with my thoughts so you can see me. You're going to see me physically turn a card over in your thoughts. Okay. And it will be the same card I've turned over there. When I count to three, tell me the card you see in your head at that moment in time, not the card you're thinking of right now. Okay. Just watch my fingers blink your mind. One, oh. two, three, name a new card now. Um, the uh, ten of clubs. You saw that there was a bell, didn't you? What? Yes. Because there's only one card. In the entire deck, dead. just one card. You see it, you grab it yourself. What card is that, my friend? What is it? It's Jesus. that's yuck. That's that, that makes me weird. That's that's <laughs> amazing. Like um, you do realize uh, you could be our new president. Um, yeah, the most skilled person now in this company. That's amazing. You understand? <laughs> well, I'm a yank. I'm a yank, so I don't think they put me in that. Oh, we don't care. The premium New South Wales is a yank. We don't care. All right, we, we've seen you rock. Now we've got to see you suck. All right. Uh, you, you saw the game before. You've got to, got to get as many of these M&Ms from one to the other. 
Uh, because you have to get to a show run, don't you? Yes. Excellent. Okay, so you suck him in there, you blow him in there, uh, and you have to get as many. Does that make sense? Yeah. You're looking confused like this. Yeah. This I is the simplest game in the world. <laughs> Alright, so. I like how you've confused the mental. <laughs> I know. What the? <laughs> With my mind. <laughs> Alright, so that, that's yours. You've got 60 seconds, the clock's up there. Alright. Uh, and while you do that, I will plug your show. So okay. feel free to sit down there. Okay. Wow. Excellent. Alright, your time starts now. Nick Tweed, Nick, Nicholas Tweedy, his show is Amaze at the Cavern Club. It's 7 p.m. Now, is it running the whole fringe or just the first two weeks? Uh, no, the whole fringe. But I'm, 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 I'm keep, going. Going. keep going. Keep going. Okay, the whole fringe, but there was a bit of this, so perhaps that means but not. Yet, you know what I'm worried about, Tommy, is that Nick will finish this. I'll count them and he'll put a number yes. in my brain. I'll be like, yeah, 137. How many do you get? Reverse. That's how many. Yeah, that's how many. Uh, so there's a rumor from the chat hill, from the chat room, that Adam Hills is going to be a special guest. And the Who's Line is it anyway, guys, at Gluttony tomorrow night. This, this is incorrect. <laughs> unless, yeah. unless it's a rumour from me as well. The rumour mill is going crazy. I don't even think Adam Hills is here. Anyway, 20 seconds to go. Uh, if you want to see amazing stuff like Nicholas Tweedy just did for us, uh, The Cabin Club, 7pm. Uh, you can also see some of his stuff on YouTube. Uh, I had a look at some stuff today. It's a Romanian news program that you're on. And you're oh. doing something like, keep going, no. You're not allowed, you just have to grunt yes or no. That's... Okay, you don't have to grunt even yes or no. Okay, uh, you're almost out of time. <laughs> Jesus, okay, fine. You made the uh, circus firemen shit themselves. All right, so your job is to count them up and silently uh, tell, tell Maz. Uh, thank you so much for coming in. Thank I, you I, I much. totally wish we could have the full hour with you, but then I guess that would be oh. a show and that would cost me $15 or so. <laughs> Sit down, we're not done yet. <laughs> uh, coming up next, we're going to give away some free dinner and we're also going to find out exactly how many uh, things he got. But we'll do that afterwards, right? Excellent, cool. Thank you so much, Nick. Thank you very much. That was amazing. Thank you you freaked me out. You're watching Festival Fishbowl live from PJ O'Brien's.